Hey, 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 it's Aeon, and today, let's talk about the change that Blizzard have implemented to the Wrath of Lich King. Now, before we get into it, this is more of a talk to you video. This is the sort of thing you can put in the background and listen to and think about. You don't really have to watch. I'm just going to have some nice gameplay on the, on the screen for you to watch, but it's more about what's being said, okay? So, what have they changed? They've made it so that Normal and Heroic share the same lockout. Now, what this means in Trial of Crusader and Ice Crown Citadel, you will not be able to do a 25-man normal and then go and do a 25-man no heroic. You will have to make a decision at the beginning of each week on what to do. Now, let me give you a scenario, and this is why I think this is a terrible idea. Let's say you are just a normal 25-man you know, raiding guild that just does content as it comes out. You're not super sweaty. So you've, you do it on week one, you get most of it down or you let's say you you know you've cleared trial of crusade normal at the beginning of week two you now have to make a decision do you go straight into heroic but if you go into heroic you now run the risk of not being able to go and do normal so do you risk it why not do both this change literally stops you from being able to do both so you could go in maybe kill the first boss kill the second boss kill the third boss but you get to the fourth boss in trial of crusade heroic and you're like nope twins is too much for us um we need to get a bit more gear so you could go back and do normal 25 men now right nope not anymore so then you can maybe go okay well then we'll split into teams we'll go and do heroic 10 men you could run into the same problem there where it kind of outscales you and you need more tanks than you do for 25 man you don't maybe not have the team for it so you have to kind of bundle it all together and then you could you know go and do 10 man normal instead and try to rush through it but then the item level drop is so much that it doesn't really make sense so you met every week with a really shit decision do we risk heroic or do we stick to normal so why have blizzard changed this basically their founding decision for this is because they don't want to force you to do four runs a week. One 10 man, one 10 man heroic. One 25 man, one 25 man heroic. Now this is complete doggy doo doo for me. It doesn't make any sense. Think about it. Tier 5 to tier 6 is the same sort of power level gain from normal 25 man to heroic 25 man. You know, similar. So when you went to tier 6 and you did it all, did you go back to tier 5? Did you feel forced to go back to tier 5 and do it every week? No. You maybe went back for a few exceptional items like a mage trinket or possibly, you know, even tier set. But you were never forced. It was an option. It wasn't something your entire raid needed to do. If you entered Trial of Crusade with Alduar 25 gear, 10 man's basically useless anyway. So you're only left with 10 man. You're only left with 25 man, sorry. So you won't be forced to do anything. Just imagine it like this. You've just finished tier 4 of Burning Crusade. In front of you, they've given you tier 6 and tier 5. And they've said, pick one. You can't do both this week. You can only pick one every week. But that makes no sense. You'd want to use the usual progression to go up to, you know, tw fi uh, tier 5. But then, you would want to go and do, you know, maybe push your luck in tier 6, get, maybe do the first couple of bosses. This makes absolutely no sense. So, some of the other points I've seen is that people are saying it's to do with badges. You know, 10-man now gives you the 25-man badge. So, you'll be forced to go back and do all of these to gain four dungeons worth of badges. But that's not quite true either, because... You will hit a point very quickly with badges where they're just not useful for you to anymore. Trust me, they, they go by very quickly and at the end of it, you'll basically just be using them to buy BOE items and crafted materials. You know, the, the blue one. So that doesn't make any sense either. So why, you know, why have they done this? It won't affect the big, like, big sweaty guilds. We'll still run multiple heroic raids. The raids that they might have planned to do normal will now just be replaced slightly harder with heroic raids early on. So it won't affect them. They'll still do eight split runs of heroic Trial of Crusade. So who does this affect? All it does is take away 
the freedom of a guild to be able to choose what they want to do. You have to make a really shit decision at the beginning of each week. Do we risk heroic or not? So how could they fix it, maybe? Well, let's say they really want to keep this, this you know, lack of dungeons that they want you to do. Sorry, raids, sorry. So raids, sorry. What, what could they do? They could do it like ICC, how it used to work, where once you've cleared it on normal, you can then switch it to heroic whenever you bloody well like. You could literally be outside of the uh, loot ship and switch it to heroic. Anyone that raided there will remember that no matter what it was, you always put the loot ship to heroic because it was a free fight and that's why it was named the loot ship. That won't work anymore, but they could do it like that. You could get two twins in TOC and be like, actually, this is too hard for us. So we'll do it on normal. We'll just switch it to normal and go in and do twins on normal, and, you know, twins and Anubarak on, you know, normal instead. That makes perfect sense. Yes, you lose the first three bosses of loot, but if you can do them on heroic, you should be able to. So then maybe another way they could fix it is by making 10 and 25 man drop the same gear. You know, you could progress as a big team into 25 man heroic and then split off into little teams to do 10 man normal for gear but then doesn't that just becomes a big balancing nightmare you know anyone that remembers cataclysm will remember that each boss was completely different on 10 and 25 man because some of them were extremely difficult on 10 man and some of them were extremely difficult on 25 you remember bastion of twilight first boss as you know as 10 man that was way harder on 10 than it was on 25 and it just becomes a massive balancing nightmare so i don't think that's a good idea either so what do you think to me this just takes freedom away it just says no you can't do what you want to do because we believe that you're going to do too much you're going to play too much of it it makes no sense it makes absolutely no sense this whole forced thing it just feels like a bad excuse if you if you put that in if you put that parallel into tbc it never bloody happened never happened it we we went back to the previous tier maybe a little bit to gear up people or maybe get a few very exceptional items but we were never forced makes no sense just takes away freedom so what do you think let me know you know put your comments in the comment section below let me know what you think maybe i am overreacting or maybe i'm not but we gotta put we gotta put our feedback out there for them to take whether they want it or whether they use it or not is up to them so thank you very much for tuning in peace